day my friends today Halo Okraheads here we are going to be doing the difference between using ground and air attacks how do you figure out which one to use at the Town Hall 9 level this could also be Town Hall 10 so let's pause it down really break it down so first off he's coming in with air and I completely disagree with this strategy why the air defenses are in the core of the base what this means is when the loons come in they're gonna be this they're not gonna be um, being provided defense from the hounds for instance when the hound is dropped i believe that wizard tower is going to be out of range of the air defense so the wizard tower will stay will change and lock on to the loons which when the loons bunch up wizard towers are deadly also those archer towers uh, those archer towers will be locked on to the hounds uh, but not that wizard tower i don't think another reason one you need to do a queen walk here this is what i would do first you always attack opposite side the clan castle when using the queen walk in valkyries you're going to queen walk from the south i would come from the south just because i like coming from the south it would take out the wizard tower those two archer towers that cannon and create the funnel right there in the corner of that base queen walk over there there's nothing the air defense is out of range and then you put one golem to the right over at that other wizard tower drop some wizards down make sure uh, when you drop the golem you drop it in the corner there because because you want it to be uh, those archer tower to lock onto the golem as you'll see when you drop that golem it will go to that cannon on the outside of the wall that's how the AI works I did a video on it you need to watch that and so one side is covered and the other for the funnel valkyries will go right to the core you don't even need a jump spell you jump push the jump spell right at the town hall so it'll get both all those um, kind of compartments there and then the valkyries will go right towards the core and wipe out the clan castle wipe out those uh expos and they're not going to get distracted they'll go to those cannons but then they'll funnel back in towards the other expo this base design is set up for valkyrie attack without a doubt so all it takes is a little strategy he uh, you know chose to go with air doing the go la loon strategy i and it obviously it turned out a fail so definitely you need to know when to use an attack now what happened on this raid that could have changed he could have gotten a three star anyway the main thing is he didn't drop enough wizards at the beginning i don't think um he could have and, and the wall breakers were just a tad late as you can tell he's going to lose some wizards on the outside and so when he dropped in those wall breakers, the hounds, I mean, the, 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 the uh, golems uh, were out of range of some of that cannons on the side and things that took out his wizards. Things are actually going okay here, but he didn't, that jump spell, he had to bring it. So if he brought in Valkyries, he would have had, you know, he would have had that spell um, for his Valkyries and not just for his king. It's kind of a waste using one jump spell for one unit um, because his golems were taken out before they even got to the core. Sadly, the king could not take out the expo. Only one air defense and the queen is not going to do much. There are witches in the clan castle and some Valkyries, so definitely hurts uh, this ground portion of the attack. If he just brought straight Valkyries, he has level 4 Valkyries. Those whole clan castles would have been wiped out. Rage in the center, two rage in the center would have been over. As you can tell, she didn't even need to use a rage um, for that queen there if the queen walk would have had it. So here comes the air portion of the raid. The wizard towers actually do stay on the uh, hound, so I, I was proven wrong, but nonetheless, it doesn't matter the reason why he failed he did he didn't take out that air defense that third air defense and no expo with the ground portion so already i knew it was going to be a fail unless some sort of miracle happened and that level four hound just survived forever but even the level four hound was taken down very quickly the air sweepers causing damage the expos are pointed up and just total annihilation bad attack all around so again guys please you know just ask your clan mates if you're unsure watch a youtube video watch this video subscribe to my channel and things like that and we, you know you can learn how to tell the difference between two uh doing an air attack and the ground attack so i encourage you to you know just think a little bit uh take some time to ponder how you're going to attack if the air defenses are very into the core of the base maybe that's a sign to go a uh, go, to go ground because it's going to be hard for your loons um, and your hounds to distract the defenses for your loons to take them out. Anyway, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Halo.